Rice is an important crop in much of the world. But various diseases can destroy your crop. One of the major diseases of rice is bacterial leaf blight, which can occur every year during the monsoon. Unless a farmer diagnoses and controls the disease early, it can destroy half of the rice crop. The panicle does not come out as normal. Due to leaf blight, only three quarter of the panicle comes out. The remaining quarter will not appear. Before I harvested 40 to 45 bags per acre. Now, due to the bacterial leaf blight disease, I harvest 10 bags less. This disease can affect rice plants both in the nursery and in the main field crop. The young seedling dries up quickly, especially if the attack is severe. The disease first appears in the leaf tip. It starts as water-soaked spot which then spreads downwards along the margins of the surface of the leaf. The leaf dries in a wavy pattern and covers the entire leaf surface. Finally, the plant dries up. Patches of rice plants become diseased while other patches stay healthy. About a month after planting, the leaf margins turn yellow. Then the leaf tip dries and finally the full leaf is dried. This is how we recognize this disease. The disease spreads fast to the entire field. The affected pods turn yellow. The crop stand is poor and the fields looks ugly. Diagnosis of this bacterial disease is very easy and can be done by anyone. If you cut some diseased leaves and put them in a glass of clear water, the leaves release an oily brown fluid. The disease is mainly spread through seeds, plant wounds, rain splash and irrigation water. The disease is also found in weeds and crop stubble through which it can attack a new rice crop. Now that we know how to recognize bacterial leaf blight and how the disease spreads, let's see how to manage it. Some rice varieties are more easily attacked by this disease than others. Try different varieties to find one that stays healthy. Or ask your extension agent to recommend a resistant variety. Growing resistant varieties in the region helps to avoid spreading the disease to other farmers in your area. You can protect your crop by planting healthy seed that is free of disease. Only use seed from a healthy field. If your field is affected, make sure to only collect healthy seeds from plants free of disease. First, we select the disease-free plants and harvest them separately. We thresh and we know these healthy plants in a separate place. We remove any discolored grains and only keep those free from disease to use as a seed for the next season. By doing so, we will not have any disease problems for the next season. Make sure to also remove any shrunken and damaged seeds, as these carry disease from one crop to the next. Some extension agencies and agro-dealers distribute certified seeds to farmers every season. You can plant certified seed to grow a healthy crop. Ask a dealer or other farmers you trust to recommend a particular variety of rice seed. 
leaf blight is more common early in the season so some farmers plant later in the season to avoid the disease poduva kaladi samba angiradhu august maasam athla nadu aarambipanga In my experience, leaf blight occurs mostly on rice planted in August. So for the past two years, I have planted my rice in November. This has helped my crop to stay free from this disease. I got high yield, so I will continue doing this. Kamiya arka naal paaka kamiya arka. Maga sul kunja adi kama arka naala. Ita na kada purje na tege tege arka. You can also protect your crop by keeping the field free of weeds because some weeds can carry the germs that cause the disease. And as with any crop, your rice will be healthier if it is well nourished. Micronutrients like zinc and copper help the plants build up resistance to the disease. You can buy micronutrients at an agro dealer's shop. Mix it with sand so you can easily spread it. apply some micronutrients they are easy for the plant to absorb if you observe the symptoms in your new crop never clip the leaf tips sela vyavsayinga enna pannuvanga andha ilaikargal no irukra payira nuni vandu apdi thirumbi some farmers clip the tips when the rice plant show the initial symptoms of leaf blight but the wrong practice enables the germs to easily enter through these cartoons and attack the entire leaves This will further spread the disease so you should never clip leaf tips Do not pass irrigation water from a field with the disease to a healthy field The irrigation water can carry the germs quickly from one field to another Some good bacteria can also help to keep our crop healthy Fresh cow dung contains such good bacteria. As soon as you see dry leaf tips in the field, prepare an extract made from 40 kg of fresh cow dung in 100 liters of water for half a hectare. Filter it 2 to 3 times until it becomes a spray solution. Let it sit for 24 hours. In the field, add another hundred liters of clean water to the dung solution and spray your field every fifteen days for three times. We have to keep a few things in mind. First, the dung should be from a cow and not from a buffalo. Second, the cow dung should be fresh and not dried. When we spray two hundred liters of this solution to our crop, we can completely control leaf blight. Through this we can get plenty of good healthy grains that we can easily sell. Pseudomonas is a good bacteria that attacks the germs that cause the disease. You can find it in shops. Pseudomonas does not damage your crop. You may prepare a solution with 1 kg of pseudomonas talc in 200 liters of water for half a hectare. Spray it 15 days after transplanting, followed by a second spray 10 days later, and a third spray after 10 days. Because the germs survive in harvested rice plants, you can stop the disease from spreading by removing harvested rice plants from the field. By composting the removed crop stubble, you can kill the germs. If you grow rice year after year the germs that cause the disease will build up in the soil and spread to the new crop After you harvest rice you can plant some other crop to kill the germs that cause leaf blight Ah vandu thodandu idhu mari PPT nel bayir senjittirukom adu thodandu thirupi nel bayir seiyaradhanaala bacteria ilaikkiradhu When we grow rice continuously we get bacterial leaf blight more often That's why we rotate our rice crop with banana, sugarcane, black ram, or sesame. 
After harvesting the alternative crop, we can plant rice again. By doing so, we avoid this disease and also get a better yield. Let's review what we have learnt in this video. Bacterial leaf blight is a major disease in rice. If you don't control it early, it can destroy half of your crop. The disease first appears in the leaf tip. Finally, the plant dries up. Try to grow resistant varieties. Use quality certified seeds or select healthy seeds from disease-free plants. Planting late in the season helps to control this disease. Never clip the leaf tips as this will spread the disease. Do not use water from an infected field to irrigate a clean field. As soon as you see an infection, stir some fresh cow dung in water and filter it. Then spray the field at regular intervals. You can also spray a solution of Pseudomonas talc. Keep your field clean and free of weeds and use crop rotation to control the disease. By keeping your crop healthy, you will have a good harvest.